Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you PN junction switching characteristics. So here, in switching characteristics of PN junction, I will explain you as if PN junction is there in forward bias and as if we provide switching to it, means we will make it in reverse bias. Then how that transition will happen from forward to reverse? That is what the case which we are dealing with to understand here. Let me explain you that by circuit first. After that, I'll explain you what will happen internally, and then we will see that with respect to timing diagram. So everything will get clear over here in this video step by step. Right. So here for switching of PN junction, you can observe here we are having one simple circuit in which we are having PN junction diode here. It is there with forward bias before t is equals to 0. So, this switch that is connected here before t is equals to 0, in which this Vf that is making this diode in forward bias, you see how this positive terminal that is connected with anode of this diode and this negative terminal that is connected with cathode with this diode. So, before t is equals to 0, this switch is connected here means this diode is there in forward bias. And after t is equals to 0, this switch will be having transition in this direction. So, this switch will be connected here after t is equals to 0. So, here as this switch will be available here, this VR battery that is having negative terminal that will be connected with anode and positive terminal that we will be connecting it with cathode by which we will be making this diode in reverse bias. So, how that transition will happen from forward to reverse that is what we are little bit to understand here along with timing diagram along with internal function. Now, I will be explaining you this transition in two stages. First is steady state and second is transition. So, let us try to understand first how things are there in steady state. So, here there will be forward steady state before t is equals to 0. So, before t is equals to 0, this switch will be available here and this diode will be there in forward bias, right. So, as if this diode is there in forward bias, how much voltage will be there across this diode? That will be almost built in potential that you can say, or you can say that is threshold voltage which will be the voltage across diode in forward bias, right. That value will be 0 0.7 for silicon at room temperature. For germanium, it will be 0.3 voltage at room temperature. So, as if this diode is there in forward bias, voltage across diode that is Vt. Let us say it is Vt, right. So, you see here we are having time axis and this is what applied voltage. So, that we are changing by this switch. So, before t is equals to 0, before t is equals to 0, applied voltage is Vf, means which is available here. So, during that diode voltage, that will be, let us say, that will be Vt, right, that will be Vt. Its value is 0.7 for silicon, right, I am saying it is Vt. So, this is what steady state. Here I am writing SS means it is there in steady state of forward bias, right. And during steady state of forward bias, what will be current passing through diode? So, obviously current will pass in this loop like this, that is diode current. And what will be value of it? That value of ID, that is Vf by Rf. So, this diode current that has to be, that has to be positive. First of all, it has to be positive. And its value will be how much? Vf by Rf, where Vf is voltage in forward bias and Rf is resistance in forward bias over here. Here we are ignoring diode forward resistance. Let us consider it as 0. So, ideally, Id will be Vf by Rf. And this is what we are talking about for steady state. Remember this. This is what we are talking about for steady state in forward bias. Now, let me explain you first how things will be there in steady state in reverse bias. 
After that, I'll explain you how transition will happen. But first, you need to be clear about what will happen in steady state, right? So here, now what I'll do is I'll be moving this switch over here, and I'll be taking readings at steady state. Steady state means I'll take reading after some time, right? So now switch is available here. T is greater than zero, and we are talking about steady state. So this diode is there in reverse bias. As if this diode is there in reverse bias. Here current will be how much? In reverse bias, in reverse bias, current will be due to minority carriers only, and it will be negligible, right? Current will be due to minority carriers, and it will be almost negligible, right? So here, see, current passing through diode in steady state. Let us consider it over here somewhere. That is I naught, right? And we are saying it is negligible. It is happening due to minority carrier. And see, up to this, up to this, only we are talking. And this is what the case which we are talking about for steady state. This is what the case which we are talking about for steady state, right? Now let us try to understand. What will be diode voltage? That voltage will be V R, which is applied voltage in reverse bias, right? So here we are applying V R voltage in reverse bias. You see, applied voltage is V R. So by keeping this switch over here, we are making this diode in reverse bias. So in steady state, voltage across diode that will be V R, right? So here, as it is there in reverse bias. I am making that as per minus V R in diode, right? So this is how steady state voltage and current is there in forward and reverse. In forward, steady state voltage will be V T and current will be V F by R F. In the reverse bias, steady state voltage will be V R and current will be I naught. This I naught is there due to minority carrier concentration, right? So that is how steady state things are there. Now I am going to explain you how. This transition will happen. So to understand that transition, first you need to understand how biasing is there with PN junction, and along with biasing, how minority carrier concentrations are there. So here, if you observe, I am keeping PN junction in forward bias. Here there is zero bias, and here there is reverse bias. In forward bias, minority carrier concentration that you can observe here. So with P type electrons are minority carrier concentration. So it is increasing exponentially when it comes to this depletion region, right? And as it goes far from depletion region, it is decreasing. In zero bias, it is uniform, right? It is uniform in zero bias. And in reverse bias, you see nearer to depletion region, nearer to depletion region, it is uh, almost zero. And as you move far from depletion region, it is it is there in equilibrium that you can say, right? So if you observe in forward bias, this minority carrier concentration in N type there will be holes, in P type there will be electrons, right? So this minority carrier concentration that is having higher concentration nearer to depletion region. In zero bias, there is zero minority carrier concentration at depletion region, and Uh, in this P type and N type normal material, it is there in equilibrium. While in reverse bias, you see over here it is zero, and as you move far from this depletion region, it is decreasing and it is going towards equilibrium. So here, when you have switching, like you see here, we were been having this diode that was in on state. Here we are having steady state. Here we are having steady state. Right, so we are directly saying like in forward bias it will be like this, in reverse bias it will be like this, but that transition will happen. Directly it will not make this uh, minority carrier concentration from here to here. Right, there has to have movement. There has to have movement. So what will happen is you see when you switch diode from on to off, these minority carriers they will be getting shifted. They will be getting shifted. 
So holes of N type that will move towards P type and electrons of P type that will move towards N type when you provide switching and gradually it will decrease. Gradually it will decrease, then it will go to neutral state. After neutral, it will go to reverse bias state. Right. So here initially when Pn junction that is there in reverse bias initially at t is equals to 0 at this instant at this instant there is huge quantity of minority carrier concentration over here so initially they will be moving like this right holes of n type they will be moving towards p type and electrons of p type they will be moving towards n type and because of that there will be flow of current because of that there will be flow of current and let me explain you how it will happen. You see, here we are having ID. So, as minority carrier concentration is there, there will be flow of current, right? Let us say there is flow of current for this much amount of time. So, what is the value of this current? So, how much voltage that we apply? Vr. How much resistance is there? Rr. So, this current value, this current value that will be minus Vr by Rr right and it will flow up to how much time see here initially minority carrier concentration that is like this then it will gradually decrease like this right after that it will decrease like this you see then it will decrease like this right so gradually it will decrease and it will reaches to it will reaches to equilibrium. So, up to equilibrium, there will be flow of current which is minus Vr by Rr. So, in equilibrium, in equilibrium, see graph will be like this with minority carrier concentration. Graph will be like this in minority carrier concentration. And after zero bias means after equilibrium, concentration will, will be like this. After that, this depletion region width that will start to expand and minority carrier concentration that will go like this as you can see it in this diagram right so here see after that here this current that will be getting decreased over here you can observe here that current will be now starting to decrease right that current will be starting to decrease like this now if you want to understand how things will happen with voltage, then see up to this, up to this, if you observe, up to this, if you observe, there will be voltage across diode and that will be like this only, right, that will be like this only and after this, voltage will start to decrease, it will go in reverse bias and it will attain Vr value, right. So, that is how transition will happen with voltage and current. Why that transition is happening like this? The reason is when diode was there in forward bias, there were huge quantity of minority carrier concentration. And when you switch this to reverse bias at that time, to make it in reverse bias, you will have to eliminate those minority carrier concentration first. So, those minority carrier concentration of N type and P type that is getting shifted. But for that shifting, it takes some time. It will make it to equilibrium first. After equilibrium, it will make it to reverse bias. So, for that, there is a transition time, right? So, there are few definitions that you need to understand. See, first is TSD time, stored charge removal time. So, what is stored charge removal time? It is the time during switching where stored charges from forward bias will be reduced to equilibrium concentration in reverse bias. So, here when you do switching from on to off, at that time there are stored charge in forward bias. Those are minority carrier concentration, right? And when you do switching at that time, those charges will be getting shifted and it will try to attain equilibrium first, right? As I have told you, from this condition to this condition, it needs some time. That is TSD time. And in this switching diagram, you can say, that is this much time TSD that is this much time right it is this much 
TSD up to which up to which volt uh, current will be minus VR by RR right so that is TSD time now one more definition that is quite interesting and essential see reverse recovery time what is it it is the time during switching where the magnitude of current in reverse bias reduces to 10 percentage of its maximum value so when you keep that diode in reverse bias at that time there is a maximum current you see how much maximum current is there minus vr by rr now that current that will be constant up to some time up to tsd time after that it will start to decrease and it will be getting decreased to 10 percentage of its maximum value right let us say it is happening over here somewhere let us say it is happening somewhere over here right 10 percentage so this much time this much time that is t reverse recovery time where it attains 10 percentage of its maximum value right so you see reverse recovery time it is the time during switching where magnitude of current in reverse bias reduces to 10 percentage of its maximum value and tr is rise time rise time means what it is simply the difference in between tsd and trr like you see here tsd that is this much up to which current is constant over here right after that now current will start to decrease why the reason is now up to this there is a neutrality which is happening inside pn junction once pn junction is neutral right now all the minority carrier concentration now that is getting in equilibrium after that due to reverse bias voltage now those carrier concentration that is getting shifted again right so during that shifting current will decrease during that shifting current will decrease right but up to this it is constant why the reason is axis minority carrier concentrations are there right so to remove that axis minority carrier concentration time required is TSD to reach up to 10 percentage of its maximum value time requirement is reverse recovery and difference in between these two that is simply rise time that is how we can find everything related PN junction switching characteristic. So I hope you have understood how things are happening inside and how that reverse recovery is happening with PN junction. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.